Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. It is Monday. I was about to say Tuesday. <laughs> it's not. It's Monday. It is four o'clock, so it means we're going to be doing our mid-level ballet class. So I have given this class a guide age of around about 8 to 12, 8 to 13 years. However, this is also the class that I'm suggesting my grown-ups and my adults who are doing the adult ballet stretch with me. You might well have done it this morning. This is the class that I'm suggesting for you if you want to give yourself a little bit more of a cardio workout. So a little bit more of a full body workout with your ballet bar and getting the heart rate up as well. So it's going to be a little bit further, higher impact than your adult ballet stretch classes. There's going to be a few Allegro exercises and we will still finish with a stretch out at the end. Um, this is the ninth week of doing these classes. I literally can't believe that we've been streaming for nine weeks. It's crazy. Um, but if you are watching on YouTube, you will know that all of the classes that I do are all saved on YouTube. So after I've done the live, they are all placed there on my YouTube channel, The Ballet Coach. And this class has the color yellow. So every one of the classes for ease um, has a color code. So just go and look for the color that you want. This one is yellow and you'll be able to follow these classes at any time you wish. If you are watching on Instagram, um, I would say head over to YouTube. YouTube's the best place to be watching. I've just got the best camera and best microphone on uh, YouTube, but Instagram is where my comments are coming through to me. So if you want to drop a comment as we go through the class, do it on Instagram. Facebook, we are streaming live to you on Facebook as well. So hopefully you will be able to catch me at one of those different platforms. I've got a couple of people here saying hello to me already. So let's whiz through. Um, hi, ballet coach. It's Russia again. Hi, Russia. Very good, because I think you tune in. I think you tune in with your friend, don't you? Um, to pretty much most of the mid-level classes, Bonnie. So really well, well, well done. It's fantastic to see. Um, in Stella Mellon, Paloma Wilson is back. I'm ready for more fun with your ballet classes. And Paloma, amazing. Um, people waving. Bo, you're watching. One of my lovely students. Hi, Bo. Thanks for dancing with me this afternoon. Um, Kira Patel, can I say hello to Ashney, who is who has been doing all of your classes? Ashney, hello. Thank you for dancing with me. Well done. Okay, guys. Right. We are going to get started. Um, and then Simon Joe Jacob. Hi, I am training with my friend Susanna. Good afternoon, you guys. Right. I'm going to leave the Instagram there. I will come back to it in a minute, but we are going to get started. So hopefully you have all got your chair with you. This is your ballet bar. Hopefully you have also all got a bottle of water because we'll give you a couple of water breaks as we go through the class. Okay, guys, let's get started. So feet in fifth position. We're going to place one hand onto the bar. Prepare that foot and lower it into the second position. We're going to take two demi plies. So keeping the heels on the floor, two and three and four. We're going to take a full plie, but still with no arm. Keep the arm down. From here, we're just going to take the upper body today. Breathing in, exhale, relax the arm. So literally just bending forward, stretching the upper back and the neck. Rise up, lower down, point and close. So no arm. One demi, two demi plies. One grand plie and recover. Same thing, just the upper body and the neck. Roll forwards. Coming up, rise up, lower, point, slide it into the front. Same thing, two demis and one full plie. Breathing in, exhale. So it's just the top of the back, chin on chest, rise up, lower down, point to the back. Last time, two demis, one full plie, relax forward, recover, rise up, close back into fifth and we'll finish just there, okay? So nice and simple, no arm today in our plies, we're gonna leave it down the whole time. So here we go guys, ready with that foot to second, here we go, clear and stretch. So push those knees out to the side. Let's take a full plie down. Okay, breathing in. Exhale, let's go forwards, just the upper body. Rise up, test the balance if you wish. Point that toe, close back into first. Here we go. Plie, long necks, keep the backs tall. Let's go. 
Well done, everybody. Good. So sometimes in a bar stretch, it's quite nice not to go all the way down, but literally just to think about stretching the up and back and the neck just coming up from there and then realigning your spine to come back up. Well done. Okay, let's move on to a Batman Tondu exercise. We're just gonna take our tondus in second today, so just out to the side. One close behind, one close in front, one close behind, one close in front. Then eight Batman Degage or a Batman Glisse. One, two, into first, four, five, six, Seven, and the eighth you close to the back. Then we go again. Tondu close in front. Two close to the back. Out close in front. And that's your four. Then a one and a two. Three and a four. Five and a six. Seven. Second time right round. Quick rise. Turn around. And we're going to do the whole thing on the other side. So you've got four tondus and then eight batmon dégagé, or a batmon glissé. A glissé, dégagé, it comes just off the floor, so it's kind of extra pressure along the floor, and then it just pops off at the end. So those glissé, dégagé, close in the first position. So first time round, we're gonna do eight, and the eighth closes at the back. The second time, we're just gonna do seven, so one less, and then we're gonna whiz around and go on the other side, okay? I'm gonna make it a little bit more tricky if you're feeling up to it. When you do those dégagés, I'd like to see a pot de bras, if you can, okay? Don't worry, if it gets too much with the arm, leave the arm down, but if you can, use a pot de bras. I'll be using the arm, so follow me, guys, if you can. Let's take it to uh, this music here. Here we go, are we ready, everybody? So, hand, let's go. One, close back, out, close front, again. Okay. So if it was, well done. So very similar step. Tondu stays on the floor and a degage or a glisse, you may know it as, comes just off the floor. Try and stretch those feet as long and as much as you can and then use your inside thighs, especially when you're closing in your first position. Okay guys, we're gonna move on. So your next exercise is a lovely rond de jambe, nice and simple, a little slower than the last exercise. We'll start in first and we'll be preparing our arms to our second position, and of course, hold on to your chair. Front, close into first, lift, close into first. Side, close into first, lift, not high, just 45 degrees. Back, close into first, lift, close into first. Take a pot de bras with your arm, prepare the leg to second. Four on de jambe, one, two, three, and four, then we'll go off the floor, round to the back, and close. We'll rise, join with the other hand. Now I'd like you here to squeeze and bring that working leg across. We're gonna turn around today, guys, as we're gonna be doing this on the other side. Prepare the arm, and we will take the entire exercise once again on the other foot. So sequence is working from first. Turn to front, off the floor. Turn to your side, just off the floor. Turn to your back, just off the floor, close, lovely pot de bras, and open the leg. Four on de jambe, going outwards. One, two, three, four, then we'll go off the floor, off the floor, off the floor, and close. From there, we're gonna take our rise up, we're gonna squeeze it across, 
turn around and we'll go on the other side. It's going to be a little steadier than the last exercise, so you'll be able to follow on with me, everybody, but we will be doing this on the second side as well, okay? Here we go. Tondi front. Off the floor. To the side. Just off the floor. that I do. Any exercise that I take at the bar just on one side, it's worth after the line has finished just going back, doing it again so you're not all lopsided. But hopefully all of the exercises so far have been pretty neutral or we've turned around. It's just the plie one that we did facing front. Okay, last exercise at the bar. This is your grand battement. So today dancers we're going to take that arm up to fifth. Ensure that your shoulder stays down. We don't want this to happen. So lovely long neck with the shoulder down. We're going to go one and close so a low grand battement and close then two at high height two at high height close side close in front side close behind two at a higher height two at a higher height we're going to go to the back i'm just facing the bar because i don't have room behind me arabesque arm two then two at a higher height and up then we're going to do one tondu but a fondu Close in front on a plie, rise up, join it with the other arm, and we're going to rotate round, taking the arm in a lovely big pot de bras, ready to go on the other side. So, two at a low height and two at your high height. To the side, make sure you close in front first. Front back, two at high height. Two to the back, two at high height. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight, and we'll go on the other side. Okay, so this again will go on both sides. Make sure you have room behind you, especially make sure you're not going to kick anything. Okie dokie, everybody. Here we go with our music. Are you ready? Let's go. Low height. One and two. Now a little higher. Keep your neck long. To the side, close in front first. Water. 
Okay, guys. So, moving straight on, we are going to take our pas de bras exercise, and in your pas de bras, I will combine an arabesque, so an adage exercise as well. So let's start with our feet in fifth position, and we're going to start on fast this week. So, with our right foot in front, arms in fifth on bar, as I would call it, or you may know it as bra bar, whichever position you know it as. Starting with the right arm, carry forwards, and second, left arm. Now we're going to take the arms up, but then open them all the way down as well. Take them up, open to fifth. Now, in the same time, we're going to open, I call this open the curtains, take the arms out to a V, but take your toe out as well. From here, we're going to take a plie fondue and a little pas de bourre behind, side in front. Stretch, close. So you now have the left foot ready to go on the other side. One, and two, and three, and four. Arms five, six, lower, and down. We take them up. We open the curtain and we point. Take a fondue, now we just did this at the bar. Behind, side, in front. Stretch, close. That's a quick little tendu over the top. From here, guys, we're going to take a lovely chasse to your arabesque. A fondue. Now, any grown-ups watching, you might recall this from this morning. We did a fondue. And stretch. We're going to lift that leg behind us. And take another pas de bourre. Then we're going to chasse on the other side. Take a fondue. And recover. Lift the leg. Place it down behind, side, in front. So there's a couple of pas de bourrées in this exercise and your balance with the arabesque as well, okay? So right arm, left arm, up and open. Both arms, open the curtains, pas de bourré, stretch, close. Second side, left arm, right arm, up, open. Arms up, open the curtains, pas de bourré. Then we have got Ah, oh, beer. What did I do next? Oh, I don't remember. So then, from there, everybody, let's take our chasse. Oh, I can't remember what I did. Chasse arabesque. You may remember. Fondue and a stretch. Lift to an arabesque and a pas de bourre. And then one and a two. And a fondue and a stretch. And a lift and a low and a pas de bourre. It might come to me halfway through, but we'll make it up if not. Okay, right, here we go, guys. Let's do the exercise. Sarah might make it up as she goes along. We'll see what happens. Okay, are we ready guys? So let's go right foot in front. So right arm goes first. One, two, left arm. Now lift the arms up to your fifth. Okay, take the arms up to fifth. And now we're gonna open the curtain. the translation is to melt. So as you're here, think of a plie. You're fondueing, so you're bending into that leg, 
but remember we don't want to bend it coming forwards hold out your turnout muscles squeeze your glutes and try and push that leg out as much as you can to the side that's your correct fondue okay guys we're going to move on to a batman tendu and a little pirouette exercise so once again let's start with the right foot in front and we're going to open the arms to second one plie through your fourth cup and here i want you to imagine that you're hugging a tree or hug a big beach ball or something like this. You've got nice round arms. Spring back and close. Side, plie, spring back and close. So you're transferring your weight. Spring back and close. Side, plie, stretch the other foot and close. We go with the left. One, fondue and the stretch. Close, keep the elbows lifted. Now push those knees out. That's your plie in second and close to the back and fondue, and stretch, and close, and side, plie, and stretch, close in front, here we go, pirouettes, releve in fifth, releve devant, I'm going to give you two options, the simple, easier option is a pitter pat around, and pop that leg into the back, therefore leaving your left leg in front, if you want to go for the pirouette, one, and two, and three, and four, and spin around, close it behind, and stand tall and then you do the whole thing on the left one and two three and four pirouette close behind yesterday i shot a video all about tips for pirouettes and that will be coming out really really soon guys uh, because lots of you have been asking me about pirouette help so look out for that very soon it is coming but i did upload yesterday uh preparational exercises for point work i know lots of you around about this age watching this class are perhaps about a year, six months or so away from starting point work. So those exercises are fantastic for you, getting nice strong feet, strong metatarsals and strong ankles. That video is on my YouTube page, so go over onto my YouTube channel, The Ballet Coach. You'll see it there, I uploaded it yesterday. So uh, take a look and let me know how you get on and pirouettes is coming very soon. Okay guys, so one, two, three, four. Side, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four, transfer your weight. Of course it won't be as fast as this, but sometimes I like to mark quickly. Two, three, four, second, two, three, pirouettes. Releve in fifth, releve devant, single turn close behind. Releve fifth, releve devant, single turn close behind it. And if we have time, we're going to go again. Okay, guys, let's go for it. Don't get your head, open those arms and find your balance on that releve. Here we go, everybody. Here's our music. Okay. Six, seven, we go one. Now push those knees out in your fourth. One. Good job, to the back. Hug the tree. Here we go. Left leg. Push those knees out. So you're really working your turnout muscles here, guys. Push knees out. Stretch to the back. remember this from this morning because I did something very similar with you guys this morning in your adult class so we're going to start with our feet in fifth position we're going to do four sautés in first easy peasy one two three four four sautés in second pushing those knees out one two three four four changements bringing the right foot in front first right left right left and then a releve but today I'd like us to lift the arms up Excuse me, and down. And now we've got two options. 
adults, you might recall that this morning we did a soubrissaut, a jump without changing with feet. So you can either do that or dance as if you are a little further advanced and you've started learning your battery already and you know what an entre chaquette is, we're going to do an entre chaquette. Cross change. Okay? So you then end up with your left foot in front ready to do the whole thing from the top. Four in first. First, two, three, four. Second, two, three, four. Left in front, two, three, four. Releve. So either jump or cross change. So you end up not changing feet. You still keep that right foot in front. We're going to do the whole exercise four times through, everybody. Keep the energy up. And about halfway through, when you start to get a little bit tired, the energy has to be found in your stomach, not your shoulders, okay? So keep your shoulders nice and relaxed and strong legs. Let's go for everybody. Keep jumping with me. And here we go. So right foot in front, four in first. Four in second. Right in front. for me. Well done. Okay, so let me know how you got on with those beats. Those me beats might have been really new to you, so good job if you got through them. Don't forget, an entrecha cat, cat in French translates to four. The reason we get that is because our right leg is doing two beats. Our left leg is also doing two beats. Two add two is four. That's how we get to cat. Okay, guys, we are going to do a little glissade and a jeté exercise. So, this might be a little tricky for some of you, but I think we should, most of us, be able to give it a go. So a glissade, glissade in ballet, glissé means to glide. So, starting with, actually I'll go this way with you guys, starting with our right leg to the back, we're gonna take one glissade. Don't change feet. So it's a little spring across the floor, and then a jeté, jeté. Two hops, one, two, one pas de bourre, like we did in our pot de bras, behind, side in front, and a change more, change, ready to go the other way. Glissade, jeté, hop and a hop, pas de bourre and a change. That's all. Glissade, jeté, hop and a hop, pas de bourre, change. Glissade, jeté, and a hop, and a hop, pas de bourré, and a change. Four times. So I'm going to give us the music, and we're going to have a little practice, because this might be a bit of a challenge for some of you, but I think you can give it a go. And if you can't give it a go when you're at home, and no one can see you, when can you, eh? When can you? Okay, so let's have some music that will help us. And I think that... Uh, Let's have, oh, I know the music we will have. Uh, no, actually, that won't work. Let's give us this one. This should work. Yeah. Lovely, okay. So there's your tempo, everybody. It's nice and speedy. Keep it light. Let's have a practice.
there's your exercise, there's your feet. Hopefully you were able to get those feet in without too much difficulty. If you were, I would now like you to do it once again. But this time get super creative with your arms. Sometimes you know if you've been watching me for the last eight weeks, you will know that I sometimes throw in. Use your own arms. So this is your time, dancers, to really use your creativity and do any arms that you so wish. But remember, don't make them too confusing, because otherwise your legs will get all in the pickle and you know, won't know what you're doing next, okay? So use those arms, but try to keep them the same each time and have fun. Let's do it one more time, everybody. Four times through. Keep breathing. Nice and strong. Point your toes. mid-level again we're gonna repeat that exercise and use some more arms okay right one more exercise super easy lovely and lilty a nice balance we did this last week I think two and three and four four balances a lovely step turn and a big step forward like a dancer and wait that's all one so you're crossing it behind each time guys behind each time then your lovely step turn, arms up, open and stand. So girls, when you're standing here, I'd like you to think with your arms about wearing the tutu, so a lovely skirt that dancers, ballerinas wear especially. Boys, when you're standing there, think of that nice, I say to the boys I teach, a nice umbrella shape, okay? So lifted from your armpits, fingers nice and soft but strong at the same time. Okay, don't make them too curly, boys, nice and strong fingers. Let's go for it, everybody. So, here's our music. Don't worry if you make a mistake. Just keep dancing. That's all we have to do, okay? Here we go, keep moving. Balance. One, two. Step turn. Our splits now, dancers, if you can. If you 
rather not do the splits, keep the hamstring stretch in front of you. Okay, so we're facing the side. One hand, either side of that front foot. Bring your leg up to your triangle. Little those feet, now keep this hip forward. And let's slide ourselves down. And dancers from here, if you can, let yourself go even further. Hamstring stretch. And bring the legs together. Well done. Okay, second side. Ready? Swap to a kneel. One hand, either side. Triangle. Wiggle the feet. Go. Hold it wherever you can get to. Forward you go. And come up. Well done, guys. Bring those legs together. Sitting tall, we're going to do head and neck now before we stand up and finish. So, long neck, chin parallel with the floor. Let's look to the side. Here we go. Front. And head. Lift one in. afternoon so we're going to be back on Wednesday so that's in two days time doing the same class again and what I like to know if you haven't done any of my classes before is I try to keep the classes very similar if not the same from the Monday to the Wednesday and likewise I do the same thing with the intermediate adult class which I'll do tomorrow and then Thursday so it'll be really similar so that the first day today you can learn the exercises and then by Wednesday you have a better idea of them and then we can just dance them a little bit more so it becomes a little bit more fun because you don't have to focus on the screen so much. Guys, if you'd like to know when any of the classes are that I'm doing, it, have a look on my Instagram story highlight. You'll see one says schedule. Just click on that and you'll see all the lists of all the classes that I do. I'm streaming classes every single day of the week, Monday to Friday. So hopefully there will be a class for you. Guys, I just uploaded, as I said at the start of this video yesterday, to my YouTube channel, um, a preparation for point work class. Okay, so go and have a look, especially dancers who, like I say in the video, are perhaps a year, six months, eight months or so away from going up onto point. It gives you some exercises on strengthening the feet, the metatarsals. I've got a TheraBand in there as well, so have a look. Hopefully it'll be useful for you. There are some exercises that you don't need anything for, so you will be able to do them at home during lockdown. And also, I did record the video on pirouettes because so many of you have been asking me for it, so that will be also coming out on my YouTube in a couple of days, and I will let you know when that is available, so you can go and have a look. If there's any other videos that you would like me to do, let me know. Because so many of you have been asking me for point work, so I did a point work one. So many of you have asking, were asking me for the splits, so I did the splits, likewise pirouettes. So if there's anything else, dancers, and you think, oh, I'd like a little bit of extra help and I can practice this whilst I'm still at home in lockdown and not back at my dance studio, let me know. 
And if there's enough of you that say, maybe I'll do a video on it, I am here to help you guys. So let me know, drop me a, either a DM on Instagram, send me a message on Facebook, just let me know. Right, guys, a couple of people saying hello to you here. Uh, hello to you, hello to me, and me. Um, Roberta, thank you so much for the lesson. You were amazing and you inspire me. Oh, Roberta, that is so kind of you to say. Thank you very much. It puts this big smile on my face, so thank you. Um, Charlotte, my lovely Charlotte, happy Ballet Monday. I agree, Charlotte. Great to join you again. Thank you, Charlotte. Charlotte, you are most welcome. I will see you later this week, sweetheart. Um, let me see, Andrea Noble, thanks for the class, you are amazing, thank you so much. Um, Kirsty Hart, thank you, loved your class. Love Kate. Bon Bon, TDZ, Bonnie. Hi, it's Bonnie, I love your classes. I can't get over <laughs> how beautiful you are, my idol. I've never loved ballet this much and it helps me get better, it's helped me getting better to pursue my dream. You're such an inspiration, stay safe. Bonnie, thank you so much for that super duper kind message. Like I just said, this huge smile's down to you, so thank you, my sweetheart. That's a really kind thing. And absolutely keep your dream of dancing alive, definitely. See, we can all dance, even though we're not at our dance schools with our teachers, we can still dance, so keep up your hard work, my love. Um, Bo, that was so good, Miss Sarah. I hope everyone has a great evening, and I can't wait till next time. Thank you both for saying that to everyone. That's really kind, and Bo, my student, I hope you're practicing, well done you. And one more message. From Ava, age eight in London, thank you so much. I've really improved since last week, even though it's hard, it is hard. I'm go it's good to try, thank you so much, Miss Sarah. Ava, age eight in London, well done you, because eight is kind of the lowest age of the guy that I've given, so really, really well done you. Any eight, nine year old, this class is tricky. So if you are coping, massive Sarah thumbs up, really, really well done. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Keep your comments, photos, videos coming through to me. I'm sharing as many of them as I can on my socials as well. So uh, tag your friends, share the ballet love, make sure you tag me in so I can see, and I will share you on my stories. Guys, I look forward to seeing you really soon. Have a fantastic rest of your Monday, and stay safe.